Welcome friends, I'm Meredith, better known around the internet as Mayor of All Trades, and today I have my monthly Costco haul for you. Now, if you will notice, it is significantly, <laughs> and I will say that again, significantly smaller than my normal Costco hauls. However, today I was not at my normal Costco that's close enough to my house for me to be able to purchase all of the cold stuff. So I was only able to get like non-food items and dry goods, things that keep for a long time that don't require refrigeration. So cheapest haul I have had possibly ever, definitely in years. I spent under $200, which as you guys know, never happens. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into this haul. I definitely found some good stuff this time. So first thing that I got, if you don't know, I love to cook and I really love Barefoot Contessa. Um, you know, even if she thinks Angel Tears organic ones are a required ingredient in her recipes. I love her cooking and her uh, her style. So anyways, this is the Barefoot Contessa cookbook and it's the exclusive Costco edition with four bonus recipes. So I will definitely be trying some of the recipes out of here and maybe I will try and share them in a cooking video if they turn out really well. This is, I swear it's not for me, okay? I got some some teasing recently uh, due to the fact that I mentioned tequila quite often. So ha, it's not tequila, it's vodka. I really don't drink that much, I swear. But anyways, a friend of mine was telling me that she got some of these from her neighbor and absolutely loved them. And I was saying that I could pick some up for her next time I go to Costco. So I grabbed some of these. Um, my mother-in-law was intrigued, so I gave her a few. I'm gonna keep a few to try and I'm just going to give the rest to my friend. Um, not make her pay me back or anything because she was like, well, I can give you cash. But since we tried some, We'll just give her the rest. But anyways, they have the strawberry freeze, lime drop, and watermelon hibiscus, and they're 100 calories or less per um, mommy style freezy pop. So that's pretty cool. I'll let you guys know how I like them. Have any of you tried them and do you like them? Next up, of course, I got some organic applesauce pouches because pretty much every mother on the planet knows these are essential to life. Um, I grabbed some cinnamon sticks. These were a really good deal. I think they were only like $4.99 for this big tub of cinnamon sticks. And I have a recipe that requires a number of them to the point where it's more cost effective for me to buy the big tub at Costco than it is for me to buy two of the, um, you know, McCormick ones from Target or the grocery store. So grabbed that. We grabbed some organic tortilla chips. That will surprise none of you that watch me all the time. They had a bunch of the holiday stuff available already, so I did pick up the Martinelli Sparkling Cider. We usually serve this um, with our Thanksgiving dinner, Christmas Eve usually dinner, and then also we have this with the kiddos for New Year's Eve. So this is definitely a staple. So now I'm stocked for the holiday season on sparkling juice. Um, this shopping trip that I did, I did with my mother-in-law, so we split a few things, including this pack of honey crisp apples. So she wanted some, but she knew she wouldn't eat them all, so we split that. And then, of course, half of the thing of apples is not enough for my family with the three kiddos, so I went ahead and grabbed some of these pink lady apples as well. I really like that these ones are packaged in cardboard instead of plastic, so keep up the good work, Costco. Um, I did grab the organic seaweed. My kids love this stuff. I think it smells disgusting, but they think it's great. And they actually requested that I pick this up again. So I saw it and grabbed it for them. I am in need of a few more uh, like warm clothes for the kids. So my oldest child is, this one is for him. They had the sweatshirt. I want to say it was like maybe $14.99, um, but he has some other things from Adidas and he's a very slim build. So I was hoping that this would fit him and I made him try it on first. It does in case you were really worried about it. Um, another thing that we shared are these Idaho spuds. These are hash brown potatoes, but they're like freeze dried uh, potato hash browns. And according to Jen Chapin here on YouTube, she's a big YouTuber. So if you aren't following her, definitely Google her. Um, she has a great channel. She's a working mom and she does Costco hauls and cooking videos and just all kinds of great stuff. Um, but she has recommended these multiple times in the past. So when I saw that they were on sale at Costco, my mother-in-law and I decided to split a pack and try it out. So I will definitely let you know in the future. I grabbed the organic Triscuits. This is a four pack of boxes. My family loves these and I simply cannot keep them in my house. They eat them that quickly. Next up, I went ahead and went crazy and got three things of the Tonkatsu Ramen. Uh, these are on sale as well right now. Uh, 
think they were $7.61 or something like that. And you get six uh, individual size portions of ramen. And I have to say for a, you know, dried shelf stable ramen product, that's pretty good. <laughs> Darn it anyway, they're tasty. I did go ahead and pick up the uh, five pack of crackers. We do charcuterie boards and things like that, oftentimes on, you know, like New Year's Day or maybe Christmas Day in the evening. And I usually stick, stick some out while I'm cooking Thanksgiving dinner because, quite frankly, I go a little crazy and it takes me all day to cook this elaborate meal. And so I'm not making lunch when I'm making the huge dinner. So we have that kind of stuff. I also went ahead and got a, a bottle of the Organic Extra Virgin Olive Oil. This is just for cooking. Um, I actually used up the entire bottle of Costco olive oil that I'd had probably for at least a year, and so I needed a new one. So I went ahead and grabbed that. I got two loaves of the Cottage Bread from Village Hearth. This stuff's pretty good, and we like it. And then the last thing that I picked up at Costco, let's see if I can slide it over here, is the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. Now this is the multi-pack. It is the best price around if you are, you know, have really dry or sensitive skin or prone to eczema, any of those things. This is a really good deal. It's cheaper than it is at Target and it was also on sale so it was a really, really good deal today. So anyways, went ahead and grabbed that as the winter months are quickly approaching and the air will be dry in no time at all. So that is actually everything that I got at Costco this time. Can you believe it? If there is anything new that you have found at Costco recently, definitely let me know down in the comments below. Of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. I'll pop up some videos in case you missed them. Let me know if you have any video requests, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye, guys.